Hey, Vinyl Community, we're back with our third video installment. Um, as I said on the last video, today we are going to cover what I used to call sex romp comedies. Um, but I decided to change that. I wanted to call it romp com. Uh, these soundtracks basically uh, focus on some of the films that came out in the early 80s that involved... Well, if you're familiar with it, uh, teenagers going to Fort Lauderdale to get laid or teenagers just trying to get laid in general. There were a lot of these movies made uh, that time in the early to mid 80s and going into 88. Um, and not a whole lot of them had soundtracks, uh, but the few that did, I've got some here today to go over them. Uh, first one, one I want to go over with is the Going All The Way soundtrack, which this little movie came out in 1981. Particularly bad. Uh, but there's really not a lot to go on as far as the soundtracks for these. They are all, all a compilation of just really shitty bands that came out around that time. Bands that are probably even around today. But still fun none nonetheless. Um, I like these kind of comedies. They're, they're goofy, stupid, and uh, brings me back to when I was young watching these, you know. And they were just, uh, they were interesting. Anyways, going all the way. Next one up, Joysticks. Uh, this, they never put out a soundtrack to it to begin with. Uh, Eczema Records put this out just recently. And the only reason to own this is unless you are a big as nerd as we are who like these kind of films. And, um, boy, what do I even, where do I even start? Anyways, uh, pretty neat. Actually, what it comes on is the, of course, the neon pink vinyl. Some of the most terrible cheesiest music you'll ever hear in your lifetime if you don't believe me actually you can go on youtube and look up the title track for joysticks and um yeah that should do it for me this is uh actually this is actually interesting because it comes with the uh, little poster and a dot matrix sheet of the uh interview with the cast so again they were limited edition i'm sure you can still find them i know they go for a pretty penny now um but yeah definitely one to look out for if you like cheese um, <laughs> next up, Just One of the Guys. Uh, this is a lot harder to find these days than it used to be. I mean, you know, back in the day, I remember I had this on cassette. And uh, I think about a year after it came out, really awesome soundtrack. Uh, it's got songs by Shalimar. It's a very memorable soundtrack. Really cute movie, but again, it did have a lot of that teenager trying to get laid deal. And if you don't believe me, well, Billy, the brother. That's all I have to say. Anyways, good album. Next up, Losing It. Uh, again, from the early 80s, a movie that had Jackie Earl, Haley, Shelley Long, uh, very young Tom Cruise. Um, all going to Tijuana. Um, and, yeah. <laughs> Not too bad of an album. Actually, it's, it's pretty good. But worth checking out. Next up, My Tutor. Uh, wow. This album, I, I you know... I had no idea how hard it was to get this album and at the cost it's going for, too. Um, very, very pricey. Um, but another one of them films back in the early 80s, there was a lot of those my this, my that. A lot of these films that had to do with, I don't know, getting laid by your teacher or getting laid in school. This was one of them. My tutor. Next up, Private Lessons. Uh, of course, you can see here music featuring Rod Stewart, John Cougar, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Air Supply. Uh, probably not the best choice of artists I would choose for my soundtrack, but again, a cheesy film, cheesy soundtrack. Nice to have if you're into this kind of stuff. Uh, Private School for Girls. Now, there are actually two different versions of this. Uh, on this album, you actually have, I believe it's two or three songs, I believe, or... It's two songs. Yeah, two songs that Phoebe Cates, uh, who you'll know from this movie, as well as Fast Times at Regiment High, uh, she actually sings two different songs on this album. Uh, there is a Japanese version that has Phoebe Cates on the cover, and for some reason you can only get it through Japan. Anyways, uh, only six songs on this album, but not bad. It's a fun album. Next up, Secret Admirer, which... I was sort of reluctant to throw this in the romp coms because it's it, it's kind of a sweet movie, very very funny. It's a great comedy, 
But uh, again, it does have that elements of teenagers trying to get laid, so I threw that in there. Um, not too bad of a soundtrack, Climax, Don Felder, um, John Hammer. Not too bad. This is another promo copy. It's, a, I, it's funny because I've got a lot of these rom-coms and a lot of these are promos. Or they have a promo stamp on them at least. Um, worth checking out. Spring Break. Uh, very funny movie. Uh, title track by Cheap Trick. Great song, by the way. And I see this. A lot of people have this one. But it's a really good one to have. Jack Mack and the Heart Attack. Two different songs by Jack Mack and the Heart Attack. Um, and, you know, if you like these kind of movies, you can also, and Jack Mack and the Heart Attack as well, you can also find his music on the Tough Turf soundtrack. Uh, or some of his other, Cardiac Party, I believe he's, they've got an album out. And they're still around. Got to give it up for that. Under the Boardwalk. Um, I really am partial to this film. And I love the soundtrack. It's got some good stuff on there. The Smithereens. Uh, surf Punks. The Surf MCs. Um, great film. Really good soundtrack. Worth checking out. Next up. Mad Magazine's Up the Academy, and it's got a lot of different music on here by Ian Hunter, Sammy Hagar, Blondie, uh, The Babies. It's it's sort of, it borders on that early era of New Wave that was coming out at that time when this movie was released. And of course, the, the story goes that the, the movie did so badly that Mad Magazine was ashamed of it, and they took their name up, off of it. Um, personally, I think that's bullshit. I think they fully back this movie up because this movie is Mad Magazine straight up. And this is a great album to get. So, yes, by all means, if you see it, pick it up. I don't care. You know, usually you can find this album for about 10 bucks. It's worth it. Get it. Uh, next up, Cheap Trick. Again, uh, title track by Cheap... Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Up the Creek. Was the title song by Cheap Trick. Um, pretty funny movie. It came out, uh, again, in the early 80s. I remember watching this on HBO, and, you know, it is, again, one of these movies where they go to a resort, and uh, everyone, you know, there's a big competition. Again, people are trying to get laid. It sort of falls in that movie like Ski School and Hot Dog the Movie, where everyone goes to a resort to have fun, and shenanigans happen. All right. Where the Boys Are 84... Uh, this movie was actually a remake from, I want to say it was Where the Boys Are 57 or something, but uh, they are completely different and not that great of a soundtrack. It's decent. Um, I mean, it, it is what it is. It's, you know, 1984. I mean, you have a lot of uh, hit or miss bands came out back then and a lot of those bands were on soundtracks, sadly, but still not a fun album. It's not a bad album. Pretty fun. Wildlife, which, again, I sort of debated throwing this in here, but, again, it did have all those other elements, as I've been speaking about. Uh, music by Andy Summers, Bananarama. Uh, there's a song by Eddie Van Halen on here, I think, that you can only get from this album. But uh, pretty funny movie, pretty interesting soundtrack. As you can see, they put it upside down like that. Yeah, kind of neat. And last but not least, Zapped. Uh, this I got from a seller out of California. It was a promotional copy and it only has the promote, the gold promo stamp, but it had the Regency Records sticker on the front, which I've never seen before. And, um, not a bad album, actually. It's pretty good. Surprisingly, it's pretty good. Uh, you kind of wish you could say, for, say the same for the movie. Um, Scott Bio, Willie Ames... Oh, you know, he's got superpowers, and he's able to do all these awesome things with it, but what he winds up doing is taking ladies' clothes off, as you can see here on the cover. Um, but, yeah, it's sort of one of those essentials. If you're talking about early 80s TNA comedies, Zapped is a soundtrack you definitely want to get. Um, again, the music, meh. Uh, but anyway, so that's about it for this little uh, installment. Um Next videos that we're going to be coming up with are going to be a it's going to be in different installments and they're going to be focusing on 80s comedies and we're going to do it all alphabetically. So anyways, that's all we have for today. Thank you for watching. Enjoy and uh, be sure to check out our art at twoheartsart.com. Thanks again.